Hello, it's Casey from Little Lifelong Learners, where I support parents just like you to inject more play into their days at home. And today I'm here to talk to you about story stones. Now, story stones are becoming so very popular and I get questions all the time about how to make them, what to use them for. So I thought I'd jump on today and give you a little bit of a demo. So I've got a few story stones here. I include them in a lot of our play packs in the Little Play Club, which is my monthly membership. Um, so I include them in a little printable like this with the ovals there, the image on the inside that you cut out and you attach to a stone, but you can also make them with stickers. But first let's have a little chat about what you can use story stones for. Now story stones are a great way to build oral language skills and the vocabulary of your little learners. Now typically in a classroom setting we would use these as a way to retell a known story. So you would have pictures from the story or elements, uh, scenes, items from the story, and you would cut them out and stick them onto the stone. And your child would use them to assemble them in the right order to retell the story. Or you would have different animals or foods or uh, locations, all different parts of a story that could come together that your child could use those story stones to create their very own story. So I have heard of some teachers creating story stones like that around specific themes. So they might have all different fairy tale story stones for their students to use and the child will pick out some pictures or some stones from a little bag and then they'll use those stones to tell a story. Uh, so that is a really common way that story stones are used, but we're seeing them being used for all different well, reasons nowadays for play with our little learners. So you might use them in a small world. So you might have animals uh, on your little story stones and use them to tell stories uh, in place of animal figurines or things like that. Um, you can use them for treasure hunts. So you might hide the story stones around your room and write little hints so that your child can follow the directions to find their story stones. You might print uh, vocabulary cards and have your little learner match them to the correct vocabulary card. There are just so many ways you can use them in a sensory tub with Play-Doh. The options are pretty endless. Uh, my mum actually made a set for Lily with all different body parts similar to this using pictures from magazines and then she gifted them to Lily with a set of pink kinetic sand and a mirror and a little feelings book and she used them to create all sorts of funny faces with the stones and there's a picture right here of that that you can see. Um, so there are so many ways you can use them but let's skip right into how to make them. Now to make the story stones you're going to need some plain stones or pebbles. A lot of people use these ones from Bunnings. They are Tuscan path stones and I guess they're really popular because they're white and they're really easy for you to see the picture on the stone as well. So you can grab them from Bunnings and then you will just need some Mod Podge and I use the glossy version. There are a few versions and I really like the glossy version. Um, you can also use hairspray to seal it but we'll talk about that in a minute. And then I like just a flat, soft brush. So have a look there. It's a long, flat brush, um, really nice and soft. And that's what I use. Now, the first type of story stone that you can make, which is really easy, is just using a sticker sheet and attaching the stickers to a stone. It is so easy if you're not crafty. A lot of people will paint story stones, but I am not a drawer, I am not a painter. So these were the very first type of story stones that I made for my little learners. So I just searched the $2 shop for stickers that would fit on the stones. And then you simply add a layer of the Mod Podge on top. So one layer, two layers if you like, and that just helps to steal, seal the sticker on there. And I really like that the stickers are really quick and easy. Little kids can help you do it. Lily's helped me made a ton of these in the past. So that's a really easy way to get started but you can also print out pictures. So like I said, in our play packs, we print them off like this, and then you simply cut around the picture and attach it to the stone. So let me show you how to do that now. So I'm going to do the lips first, and I include an oval outline on the story stones like this for you, but I actually recommend that you cut out as close to the outline of the picture as you can because you're just going to get a better seal on the stone. So let me do that and I'll show you what I mean. So these are really quick and easy to do. 
that's a leftover but this is what I've cut out so you can see I've left a little white border there but I've cut nice and close to the outline of the picture and then all you're going to do is grab one of the stones so I'm just going to cut this open just for ease and you're going to grab a stone now you can go through all of the stones in your pack because they are all shaped differently and work out which picture is going to fit best on that stone so you're just going to line it up like this and then get your Mod Podge and you're just going to put a little bit on the stone. I'm going to do it like this and I'll do a version closer so you can see. So you're going to put a layer of Mod Podge on, stick your picture down, line it up where you want it and then you just add another layer of Mod Podge on the top. So I like to just speckle it on like that and then smooth it out and if you've got too much Mod Podge you just wipe the excess and you're just going to get a nice flat finish like this and don't worry the glue is going to dry clear and that's all you're going to do so it's really quick and easy you just let that dry and then it will be ready to play with now some people will spray um hairspray onto the story stones to help seal it because they do get a little bit sticky in the heat and sometimes they will stick together so you can actually add a layer of hairspray or a varnish sealer in a spray can anything like that is going to really help so as i said they can be used for so many different things they're really quick and easy to make and if you do make some i would love for you to tag me on instagram at little lifelong learners so that i can see what you've made and share it with my audience as well but as you can see super quick and easy and loads of fun we have so many different story stones i've got these ones that we made all with stickers and i actually kept the sticker sheets so that i could make another set for a matching activity for a younger toddler and then i've got the story stones from our play packs and this one here was from our community helpers play pack and I put all different things that you can recycle or that go in the bin or that you can use in your compost for your green waste and then the kids had to sort them into the right bin which was lots of fun so lots of ways you can use these story stones really your only limit is the imagination.